Welcome to the second battle of the set between Detroit Dinos, Sartoad's team, Pitiful Punching Bags, Quasimodo's team. This is losers round one of the FNF Victory Road Draft League season two playoffs. And we already had a battle finish. If you haven't watched that battle, go watch that battle now because we're about to spoil the score. So that battle did end up with Quasimodo winning. So the set score is 1-0 in favor of Quasimodo. And as a reminder, the Mega Pokemon, Mega Gardevoir, and Mega Alakazam, respectively, Z Pokemon, Z Any Salamence, Z Attack, Como O. So joining me in commentary today is Sir Roland from Waterfront Woods. And we're going to start with our thoughts on the teams what changes they might have made changes in strategy and things like that and first of all there's no changes in the pokemon that came obviously there may be stat changes item changes move changes ability changes but not the pokemon themselves so interesting because i thought we were going to see that but uh anyways let's jump into our initial thoughts and i'll let you go first with that so Yes, for sure, uh, especially based off of the last match with Alakazam switching in to Magneton and tracing Magnetpole. I have a feeling we're definitely not going to see Magnetpole Magneton again. Most likely it'll be running sturdy, especially given uh, that Alakazam could possibly set, if Alakazam were to possibly set up again, Magneton would definitely benefit from a sturdy, uh, although I do not know the priority moves it could get to possibly take advantage of it. However, uh, on crazy side i honestly i don't see him changing much because if it ain't broke don't fix it and based on the set that he ran last match i have a very good feeling that star toad had to change quite a few stats and maybe a few abilities uh on his team to possibly counter anything that crazy could throw at him which again was the same team i also kind of want to mention that in both battles both trainers have been talking about how much they hate the music that showdown gave them which i personally relate to <laughs> that's why i always pick the music or ask people for the music they want and then put it um yeah i i definitely think we'll see a ability change on magneton especially considering again there are no steel types sturdy will help a lot and um i i really think think we could see a trick room from Gardevoir. I'm not sure, but that could really help a lot for Startoad. Uh, Quasi, I don't think we'll make too many changes. Maybe Alakazam will be changed up since the set was spoiled, and so um, now Startoad will have a good idea to counter it. I'm surprised that we don't see Pangoro, because I think that would have been a good um, counter to a lot of the Pokemon on Quasi's team right now. Um, but yeah, so I think that... We're definitely going to see a little bit more awareness for abilities coming from Sartoad. I think that's really what did him in. The fact that he forgot or he didn't know that ghost types could switch out of Shadow Tag. And he didn't account for Magnet Pole being traced by Mega Alakazam. So that awareness of abilities I think we'll see from Sartoad this time. And maybe it'll be a closer match. Still anybody's game as we've seen um, before in previous sets. You can win round one and then still not make it. So it still is anybody's game. Both of these trainers are very capable, and I think we'll see a great battle. So that's my initial thoughts. I don't know if you have anything else to add. I think we should go ahead and get into it. All right. Let's jump right in. All right. I think we're probably going to see uh, definitely not another Moltres lead. Probably, oh, I was not expecting Como. -O. Yeah, Como -O right off the bat. Maybe to go for some Stealth Rock. We have a Raquinid leading for Star Toad. See a Dragon Dance sticky web setup. So I'm going to guess we do not have a Trick Room going. Yeah, probably no Trick Room due to the sticky web. A Dragon Dance Como O is already very scary right off the bat. No, just because I mean Como O does have I mean it already has decent speed, but its attack stat being raised at all is extremely scary. Another yeah. Dragon Dance. 
liquidation is going to bring it down to 66%. Maybe there's a sash somewhere in there that Startoad could hang on to to try and take out this Como. Oh, uh, there it is. Comonium Z. Wow. I'm actually really surprised that didn't KO. I'm not surprised because Clangorous Soul Blaze is a special attack, so it didn't get the boosts from Dragon Dance, and um, Araquanid's special defense is very high. It's like the Shadow Claw is going to do it. So down goes Araquanid, but in comes Drove My Chevy, the Mamo Swine. Ice Shard might be enough to take out Como O. Uh, especially given the Ice type weakness from Dragon. Um, it's something that a lot of people. Well, at least that I don't like about dragon types is the fact that it's very weak to ice. Uh, a lot of the dragon types that I've seen don't have very good types against ice. Against ice, um, and Como O really is one of those Pokemon that has that weak, that strong weakness to ice. Uh, but I don't think that Quazy should switch out here, uh, especially given the fact that it's already boosted pretty well. Ice Shard might be enough to take it down um, due to the fact that defense is not boosted anymore because of the liquidation defense drop. I think we could see a switch into Wubbuffet because if Wubbuffet could take out Mamoswine that would be really good for Quasi because Mamoswine is a problematic Pokemon for him. Um, Wubbuffet could pretty much... <laughs> Wubbuffet giveth and taketh away. So... <laughs> um, we might see that, especially since Ice Shard is a very low... Um, low risk move to switch into. Uh, but I... As far as the usage of Araquanid, I think it was very good how Star Toad used Araquanid to just get chip damage on Como O. Uh, but it looks like we have a Moltres switch in to Ice Shard, which only does about 35%. That's pretty decent damage for a neutral move of 40 base power. Um, the I think the um, well, there's a Fire Blast that's going to take out Mana Swine. Uh, but I think the the life orb helped with that. And again, we see we see the um, the magneton switch in to Moltres. This has to be a sturdy magneton this time. I do not think we'll see a magnet pool. <laughs> sure, hope not this time around. <laughs> Losing Mamoswine is going to be tough for Star Toad, especially with Como o still alive. The sticky web might help with taking down Como o later. But, uh, yeah, Mamoswine is a very valuable Pokemon with that Ice Shard. Uh, the, I think something that we could possibly see is maybe your Dragon Claw or something of the sort from Salamence. Given that, um, we have, I mean, we do have two Dragon types, one on each team, and uh, I think a Dragon Claw could easily take out Como. -O. Yeah, Dragon Claw at this point, since it only has 42, I think we'll definitely take it down. And um, I don't even think with any, I think with no speed investment, uh, of course, full EVs, I think it could still outspeed Como O. So Pogafet comes in to take that Volt Switch, and Salamence is going to come in to deal with Pogafet. Can Salamence take down Pogafet? I think the biggest thing he's going to need to look out for. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> We see the uh, the classic Wobbuffet jank again going for the Encore on Substitute. I thought that Substitute blocked Encore. Looks like it does. Super Scon Sonic Skytrike is going to take out Moltres. Interesting. I guess the Z move can't be blocked by Encore. Looks like that's the case. Wow. Sticky web. I think um, I think the safest switch in now is going to be Pogafet again. Um, although with it being slowed down and with Moxie coming into effect, uh, it could be very interesting to see what Star Toad could do, possibly to take possibly to take out uh, either uh, Wobbuffet or any other Pokemon. It looks like it's Barbarical that comes in now. Barbarical's gonna go for that shell smash. Yeah, I think Salamence needed to switch out. Being locked into substitute is really bad for it right now, especially considering this Barbarical can have a focus sash attached. And especially given the fact that it's already got his defenses dropped, um, we he needs to get that sash 
activated as soon as possible so that it can get taken care of soon. Because with it, Shell Smash, it looks like it's now at 1.5 speed, which means it could outspeed most of his team. Yeah, this is a really scary moment for Star Toad right now. I think he has to scrap a Pokemon. His only way to take down Barbarical at this point is for Magneton to live a move, Volt Switch out into um, Double Aid, and then use Shadow Sneak to take out Barbarical. That definitely would be, I think, the most viable one, especially if it has, especially if Magneton is sturdy. Although, if sturdy gets activated too soon, um, it could be rather problematic especially given that barbarical would still outspeed magneton and be able to get rid of it yeah i think the play is scrapping gardevoir at this point which honestly is a huge hit given the fact that gardevoir could easily take out both como -O and greninja yeah if given the opportunity with a with a hyper voice hyper voice easily takes out greninja and especially would easily take out como -O. I think the other option is possibly to keep... Oh, it looks like he's going to keep in Salamence. Interesting. If Salamence remo doesn't have Encore anymore, it's safe behind the Substitute and can deal damage to Barbarical now. Because one, mo one move will definitely take out... There goes the Substitute. And there it is. Activates the Sash. Barbarical is not in a good spot because Doublade could just come in and Shadow Sneak now. The question is definitely going to be, will he keep in Salamence, or does he just go ahead and scrap Salamence? Because looking, I think looking at this, uh, Salamence just seems to be fodder at this point. Yeah. I think he either keeps in Salamence or brings in Gardevoir, but he definitely wants to keep Sturdy intact for Magneton and keep Double Eight alive so he could Shadow Sneak. And also so he could deal with Mega Alakazam later. That's true. If he can keep a sturdy Pokemon alive, Mega Alakazam, that would help greatly. Especially given that uh, one physical move could easily take out Mega Alakazam. Stone Edge takes down Salamence, but here comes Doublet to go for that Shadow Sneak. Big question is, is who switches in now? I think... We either see Wobbuffet or Greninja switching in. I think he's just going to keep Barbar. I, I think he's just going to scrap Barbarical since it's at one percent. Um, or maybe switch to a different Pokemon. Oh, but Barbarical oh. goes first. Huh. I'm what? That that just happened. Okay. I guess he didn't use Shadow Sneak. That Shadow Sneak easily would have killed. Looks like Sturdy's going to activate. And there's the Bolt Switch. That'll bring in Mega Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir still has a chance to take this. Mega Alakazam will be troublesome, though. But Mega Gardevoir, with its great attack stat, its nice speed after Sticky Web deals with the speed of the opposing team, will be pretty good. But Wobbuffet can be a thorn in Mega Gardevoir's side. Wobbuffet definitely would be a thorn. And then Mega Alakazam would be something to watch out for. Because if Crazy has full speed invest in Mega Alakazam, I think it could possibly still outspeed Mega Gardevoir, even with that good speed stat that it has. It I all think the, on the most likely switch in is definitely Wobbuffet. I think it'll just mirror coat a uh, hyper voice back to Mega Gardevoir. It could either do a mirror coat or it could encore it and then go for another Destiny Bond. <laughs> Two Shadow Tag Pokemon. That means that Gardevoir could switch out. If they both have Shadow Tag, then you can switch out. Oh, okay, but he stays in and, and goes for the Will O Wisp. Very mirror coat won't mirror. work. That was extremely smart of Star Toad. Oh, 
when the Shadow Ball takes down Pogafet. This could be the turning point for Star Toad. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Especially, I mean, it all I think depends on the invest for Mega Alakazam. If it does not, oh, even if it does have full speed, Mega Gardevoir actually could outspeed it. Another big question Does this Greninja have a sash? And Water Shuriken. If Water Shuriken does hit, depending on the invest for Greninja, we could see a Mega Gardevoir in very low health. It's Sash. Yeah, that Sash is going to be good for bringing down Gardevoir. Now Alakazam might be able to take it down with a Shadow Ball. This will probably be the defining moment of the game. Oh! Oh, brings Alakazam down close, but not enough to take it wow. down. Magneton is the last Pokemon. Alakazam's speed is still dropped. Will Magneton go first or Alakazam? I think Alakazam. Oh! oh my goodness. Magneton goes first at 1%. Como O is the last Pokemon. Will Flash Cannon be enough? It is enough! Oh my gosh. What a battle. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. And that's going to be a 1 0 victory for Star Toad. Crazy. Literally one HP left. That switch to Sturdy really did him well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, um, that was a 1 0 victory, like you said, for Star Toad and the Detroit Dinos over Quasimodo, pitiful punching bags. So, we're going to move on to a game three, and what a clutch victory. I think that Starto definitely needs to get some hazards up because Quasimodo runs a lot of sashes. Um, and you feel very safe switching in and out as well, which hazards will definitely eliminate that safe switch in because he will get damage done either way if he doesn't switch in. Yeah. I think also... Um, Quasimodo could benefit from hazards as well. Both of them could, because it would break the Magneton sturdy. It doesn't look like there's a defogger on Sartoad's team. So Quasimodo uh, could definitely take advantage of that. I think Salamence could get defogged, but I do know uh, that yeah. Quasi does have a... I believe he does have a spinner in Barbarical. Uh, I'm not sure if Barbarical gets spin. I don't think it does. I think Moltres is his only hazard removal. Um, Salamence can get Defog. It doesn't usually run it. I don't think either of them were probably running Defog this match. Maybe it'll change next match, but regardless, really interesting match. And on to Battle 3. Have to see what happens. All right, so tune in for Battle number 3. This is Noel from Sun and Friendly, joined by Cyril and Waterfront Woods, and we'll catch you then. <laughs>